Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. It's Jessica Fit Beauty. If you're new here, welcome. I really hope that you will subscribe to become a part of my familia. If you're coming back, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Wonder Brow Eyebrows in Under Two Minutes that last for days. So if you guys wanna see this video, just keep on watching. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in the box when you purchase it. This is the Wonder Brow. It is $22. I do have the color Black Brown, which makes me a little nervous. This was sent to me in PR so I didn't really get to choose my color um, they just kind of chose based I believe on my pictures I think I don't know uh, but maybe this is a little bit lighter than they say it is inside the box comes a spoolie and the color I did just open it right now you guys can see here's the packaging right before I jumped on camera and then I was like why did I do that I should just opened it on camera but here is what the package look like before I completely open it. Inside is like a brush applicator. I honestly don't think I would like using this on my eyebrows. So right now on their website, they do also give you a free dual ended brush. Of course, if you have one at home, you would never have to worry about purchasing it. So it is just $22 and they're tossing this in with it. And it comes with a spoolie and then the angle brush on the other side. Let's give this a try. Again, this is brand new to me. I received it months ago in PR and I'm finally just getting around to using it. Again, what really scared me was the black brown color because I feel like since I have blonde hair, which obviously you can't tell now, but my roots are dark and I'm kind of doing more of an ombre theme. So I feel like it's okay if it, they are a little dark, but still a little intimidated. So I'm just gonna open this up. Comes like this, covered. And then here is what the brush completely looks like. So you guys can see right here. Hopefully it is focusing on that brush and not me. And then here is the black brown color. As you can see, it doesn't really look as dark as I thought it was. I'm going to go ahead and test this on the back of my hand with a little brush just to kind of see what it looks like. So you guys can see too. There it is. And then we are going to, that's actually really light for black brown. I'm surprised that's not darker. Wow. Maybe it darkens as it sits there, but that's pretty light. I'm going to make sure I wipe it off with a little bit of alcohol. Hopefully it doesn't stain. Okay. I got it off. To start off with, I'm going to cleanse my brows just using a little bit of 70 proof rubbing alcohol. I just put a teeny tiny bit on a cotton pad. Even better would be to use a cotton swab so you can really detail it. And I'm just doing this to make sure that there are no oils or anything on my brow to hinder the wonder brow from adhering. So there was really nothing on there, which is perfect, but at least they're nice and clean. Be really careful when putting rubbing alcohol near your eyes because it can sting and hurt and be really bad. So just something like a cotton swab or a little tiny bit on a cotton pad works well, and then just use it to detail if you choose to do that. So I've pulled out the instructions and we're gonna follow them as well as we can. <laughs> so it says, apply Wonder Brow to a clean, dry brow free from other makeup or moisturizers, which is perfect. And this is why I did use a little bit of the alcohol on the brow first to really clean it. it says start filling in sparse spots with short feathery strokes with the applicator or angled brow brush as desired. Again, I think that applicator that comes on this is just way too thick and definitely an angled brush to really detail it is going to be a lot better. So we will start there and then it says once applied soften the product grooming the brow upwards and outwards with the spoolie brush Reapply product if more coverage is needed for optimum results Do not apply cream or moisturizer over application area For removal before three days apply an oil based cleanser or oil directly over wonder brow Massage then gently remove with a cotton pad. So that is a good thing to know not to use any oil I'll definitely be staying away from my Bifacil eye makeup remover by Lancome because I do know there is an oil product in it I'll also stay away from any like cleansing oils or my makeup wipes, which do also have an oil in it as well Okay, so I pulled you guys in just a little bit closer so we could get started because I feel like if you're in well, one, you get to see all of my pores, aren't you lucky? And my dark circles. But to start off with, I'm gonna take this spoolie and I'm gonna go ahead and just brush my eyebrows upwards. I'm gonna do the same on the opposite side. 
So I'm going to grab this guy and I'm actually going to put it onto a little palette like this one just because rather than the back of my hand, I don't want it to stain the back of my hand. So I'm just putting a little bit on right now. If you guys can see that little bit right there, I need to get a glass palette so I can show you guys. It'll be a little bit easier. I'm going to take this angled brush, which honestly, I wish it was a little bit thinner of an angled brush. So I'm just putting a little bit on the brush and we're going to kind of see how this looks. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling in my brows. Oh my God. Wish me luck. So we're just going to make little like strokes. Okay. 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 This is actually matching my hair really, really well. You know, first thought when I heard black brown, I thought, oh geez, it's going to be so dark. And that's what made me stay away from it because really scared me. Then it says to go back in with the spoolie and brush it upwards. And then I'll go back and continue defining the brow. That's looking pretty good so far. I'm really impressed with this product. And now I'm going to just go back in one more time to really fill in all those final areas. I pulled you guys in just a little bit closer. I wanted you guys to see the left brow is complete. I'm really impressed so far with how it looks. I'm going to move on to the right off camera just to finish it up. But you guys can really see how nice and buildable that was. And again, just going back in with the spoolie, I really brushed everything up. This worked so nice. Wow, we are definitely going to test this with some water once it's completely dry, but I'm going to move on to the right brow off the camera and I will be right back. So both brows are done. I do want to say they feel a teensy bit crunchy, but some brow gels feel like this. So I don't want to say that that's a bad thing. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to water test it. I'm not going to pour water on my face. I'm going to take this glass of water. Yes, it's in a wine glass. And I'm going to take a little clean cotton ball, rinse it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it right across my brows. <sighs> wow. Okay, let's do the other one. So excited. Okay, other side. Nothing. Okay. That I'm really, really impressed with. The fact that they stayed. Wow. I'm going to jump off camera again. I'm going to apply all my makeup and I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts after I put everything on, let you know what I think. I am back and I have on my foundation. I have some lashes and a little bit of lip gloss. I'm just kind of keeping it chill today. I do have to run and finish doing my hair, but I wanted to come back on really quick and just give you my final thoughts. I did get a little bit of foundation in my brow as I was putting it on because I used the Dior Air Flash and I had to wipe it off again and it still stayed. I am so impressed with this product. I have seen a couple other reviews. One specifically that's standing out to me is Nikki Tutorials. She has pretty much no brow. I have a lot of brows, so some of you are probably saying, well, this works great on you, but does it work good on someone with no brows? So check out Nikki's tutorial and kind of make up your mind for yourself. I feel like for someone with already thick you know, pretty good brows, but they're sparse in areas and they just need to fill in. I feel like this product is the best for you. So if you're that person and you're looking for something to last, then this is it. I cannot talk for somebody that doesn't really have brows. However, if this does what it says it's going to do and it lasts for three days, then this product is really good for everybody. It's just a matter of being really detailed and careful when applying it because it is a semi-permanent product. And what it claims is that it's not going to come off. So again, I'm going to do my best. I'm not going to put any oils on my face when cleaning my face and taking makeup off. And I'll let you guys know down in the description bar in three days, you guys can pull it down and see my final thoughts. I'll also probably update you on my Instagram Insta stories. So you guys can also check that out. If you've tried this product and you liked it or didn't like it, let me know down below in the comment section. And if there's any other brow products you want me to try, let me know as well. I have one in mind that I have and I want to try for you guys. It's actually sitting in my drawer. So if there's anything specific you want to know or hear about or get a tutorial on, let me know down in the comment section. And then until next time, we will be seeing you soon. Bye.
Hum, hum, hum. Look at these brows. Oh, girl. Brows on fleek is what the kids are saying. Uh, but just a friendly PSA. Kids, for those of you, brows are supposed to be sisters, not twins.